News. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. With just 11 days to go until Election Day, President Trump and Joe Biden are back on the campaign trail following the final presidential debate. The candidates were questioned on a wide range of topics, from the economy to immigration and more. This debate had much more policy talk and far fewer interruptions than the last. The first topic of the night was the coronavirus, where Joe Biden slammed the Trump administration for its response. 220,000 Americans dead. If you hear nothing else I say tonight, hear this. Anyone who's responsible for not taking control, in fact, not saying I'm, I take no responsibility initially, anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as president of the United States of America. But President Trump said a vaccine is coming in weeks and defended his administration's response to the pandemic. 2.2 million people modeled out were expected to die. We closed up the greatest economy in the world in order to fight this horrible disease that came from China. It's a worldwide pandemic. It's all over the world. You see the spikes in Europe and many other places right now. Uh, if you notice, the mortality rate is down 85 percent. Uh, the excess mortality rate is way down and much lower than almost any other country. For more on this, I want to bring in Leslie Sanchez and Joel Payne. Leslie is a CBS News political analyst and Republican strategist. Joel is a CBS News political contributor and Democratic strategist. Welcome to both of you. Great to see you both. Mm -hmm. Leslie, let me start with you. Polling shows that President Trump is trailing behind Joe Biden. But did the president do what he needed to do last night 